Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create contained database user in SQL Server. And we'll be using two ways to do it. One is SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and other is using T-SQL script. So um, uh, for before we go ahead and create a contained database user, keep in mind that contained database needs to be there, uh, needs to be created prior to you can create the contained user. So we're going to go ahead. This is my SQL Server and this is my SQL Server instance, SQL Prod Tech Brothers SQL is my machine name. And I do have a, C a database that is contained. If you click on my contained database right here, you will see up here containment type is partial. If containment type of your database is none, that means it this is that is not a contained database. If we click on report server right here, you will see the containment type up here is none. So that means this is not a contained database. In order for it to be contained database, your contained database type needs to be containment type needs to be partial. And how to create, if you don't know how to create a contained database, please watch my video, how to create a contained database in SQL Server. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, keep in mind, can one of the property of contained databases is they are independent uh, of other databases, as well as independent from SQL Server instance. When we talk about SQL Server instance, their metadata is not really um, stored in master database. Normally when we create a, a, a database, then it goes to all the metadata, some of the information goes to the master database of the instance where you connected, where you're creating that database. But in contained database, it is not the case. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create just the contained user, uh, and it doesn't have to be contained database user. Uh, um, contained databases also are independent of login. You don't have to have a SQL Server login in order to connect with the contained database. And if you notice right here, let me take you through Let's create the uh, user first and I'll show you that there is no login basically exist for that particular user. So we're going to go ahead, click on security user and we're going to go ahead and cl right click new user. And you have an option in contain database. There are several options that you can create the user with. You can create user with login. Uh, you can convert that login into contained login. You can create a SQL user with password. That means you don't have to have a login, but you do have a, a SQL Server user, SQL Server authentication. Keep in mind, if you use SQL Server authentication, uh, the installation needs to be in mixed mode rather than Windows authentication mode. You can also use Windows authentication uh, uh, right here. Now, Windows user can also be a contained user. Uh, you can uh, go ahead and select this if you wanted to use your Active Directory user. Um, if you, if user um, if the user is outside your organization and you are mapping that user to go, to go through a certificate in order to connect to your SQL Server or your contained database, you can go ahead and select these options. So I'm going to uh, use the option SQL Server user with password. So that means, just keep in mind when I click on SQL user with password, that doesn't mean that I'm creating the login. So the whole idea of this demo is to show you that it, when you create a contained user, it doesn't have to have a login on SQL Server uh, to in order to connect to that database. So we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, basically uh, give the user name. I'm going to go ahead contained user and password needs to be strong so I have password right here and uh, language my language default language is English I'm okay with that whatever your language is you can select that here uh, default schema of this contained user uh, you can put a DBO or however uh, whatever the uh, going to be uh, the the schema of your this particular user you can choose from here and uh, uh, do that so I'm going to go ahead go with DBO and I'm going to go ahead and own schema I'm going to go ahead and tell it that okay DB owner because this user can do anything in this uh, particular database because this is independent of other isolated from other databases so I'm not worried about uh, giving it DB owner uh, for this uh, uh, particular database 
so we're gonna go ahead and select on membership db owner that's fine with me scurable we don't have any scurable to give so this is just a demo purposes so we're gonna go ahead and create user you can uh, use your uh, knowledge of creating a database user uh, just like any other database for other options right here but uh, main thing up here is uh, for contained um, uh, user is that a database needs to be contained and these options up here you can choose any of that so we're gonna go ahead and click OK all right as you can see that our contained user is uh, created so what we're going to do right now is after we create the contained user we're gonna go and look that if login is created I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that as you can see there is no login called contained user so we're gonna go ahead and connect uh, without the login we're going to connect, uh, click on database engine and here's my um, uh, SQL Server instance and here's authentication I'm going to use SQL Server authentication because my contained user right here that that's there um, it is a SQL Server user with password so I'm going to go ahead and put the password right here and keep in mind you cannot connect just like this you need to click on options and up here you need to give it would be before that it would be this option would be first time when you're looking at the options it, it, it would be just like that connect to the database default you cannot connect to the SQL server to that particular database you have to define your database right here so I'm going to uh, give my contained DB this is my database if you look at right here well it's not um, letting us do but I showed you in the beginning that uh, my database is my contained database and we're going to go ahead and click connect and as you can see that it didn't need login and it connected with SQL server um, so I'm gonna go ahead and it's only for that particular contained database so it can do whatever it needs to in this particular contained database so let's go ahead and uh, basically delete everything and do it using tsql uh, uh, script i'm going to disconnect here and i'm going to go ahead in my my contained database and delete that user so that we can recreate it Keep in mind that um, when you uh, give this, if you try to uh, delete the user, it's going to give you error that this particular user own a schema because during uh, uh, when we create the user, we define that it can own this schema. So um, let let me quickly reproduce that error. As you can see that uh, it's not principal owns a schema in the database. So we're going to go ahead and click OK, cancel. We're going to go in the schemas and we know that we have db owner up here as you can see now db owner schema we don't want schema owner contained user we wanted it to be dbo so now the db owner right here uh, um, schema has a different owner now it's not the contained contained user so we're going to go ahead and delete now it should work fine for us all right so we have All right, we have deleted the user. Let's go ahead and get our script. Right here is create contain DB user. So we're, let me go ahead and connect with this first. And now we're gonna go and grab our contained user cancel we're gonna copy this and we're gonna go ahead and put it right here so right here we're connected with our instance so uh, as you can see from the script this password is not a strong password so I'm going to change it otherwise we'll run into an issue 
so this is going to be the password for this particular user um, as you can see that uh, I have um, uh, the authorization on the schema I made a contained user right here uh, DB owner um, uh, uh, owner of this particular DB owner schema so that it can go ahead and give other user a DB owner if it needs to so this is basically uh, what goes uh, in T-SQL or when we use graphic user interface behind the scene. So we're going to go ahead and run this real quick. Command completed successfully. Now let's go ahead and refresh our users. And here is our contained user. And we're going to close this. And we're going to connect with SQL Server instance one more time just to see if our T-SQL worked and we need to select T uh, SQL Server authentication contained user is okay give the password right here I hope this no P So I gave the password, click on the options, and our option is already selected since I connected one time uh, my contain DB. So we're gonna go ahead and connect, and as you can see, it's connected. And if we expand the databases, it should have my contained database. So basically, this is how you uh, create contained user, and this is how you connect with SQL Server instance. Uh, our next video, uh, our next demo is that we're going to basically migrate this database to a different instance and uh, try to connect with that uh, this database from the other instance and see that if we uh, run into issue of having the login. So this is just a, a, a quick demo of uh, creating a user and connecting with the SQL Server instance. I hope this helps.